Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a strange sort of story. I've been I've been involved with the club for seven years now. Um, seven years in January, it absolutely flies by. As you may or may not be aware, I played for the club some years ago, and um, the club was very prosperous, very healthy, very friendly. I had no desire to drop back down to step four. Uh, I wanted to stop at step three with with Redditch. But then having spoke with, with, with Keith first and then Karen uh, and looking at the vision that they had for the football club, looking at the, the, the facilities, the size of the fan base, um, me wanting to be part and parcel of a, of a project uh, and what Keith and Karen wanted to try and do with the club and how they thought I could be part and parcel of that. Um, it, it, was, it was quite easy to see that it was the right move for, for me. I was pretty sad to see what, what was happening to the club. I loved it there. I'd been away for a while, but I'd, I'd, as soon as I came back, it just completely reignited um, all my passions I had there. I loved playing for I remember making my debut, different things. The fo football was first and foremost. I wasn't thinking business commercially or anything like that. And you're quite right, you don't go in to make, to, to make money, you know. But the, the first task was to try and get it to break even. I'm a huge football fan. You might argue not, you know, given I support West Bromwich Albion as my professional club and always have since being a little girl. Um, you don't realise how much you miss football until you're not going, you know, for me, two or three times a week to a match somewhere. In March 2020, Elzone Town played their final games in front of pre-COVID crowds. The last year and a half has seen controversy and dysfunction in both league and cup competitions during UK government restrictions. As expected, this caused issues for the running of Hales Own Town as normal service was drawn to a halt. We were at the stage in March last year where Keith and I wanted the football club to get to the point where we had no debt and we were, in terms of the income coming in, breaking even. We were able to pay all of our commitments and actually break even, you know, and and everything that we make in the football club, as, as, uh, as any fans that know us know, we reinvest it back in. So this isn't about, you know, earning an income for Keith and I. This is about helping Hal's own town get on a stable footing and grow for the future so that we can invest in the pitch, the facilities, the quality of players that we can have at the football club and so on. But ultimately, you can only go and knock on people's doors and... Um and give them some kind of plan and some kind of success vision that you're, you're trying to do. Um, and we were slowly building that, I think. Uh, and again, it's the fundamentals, just get the pitch right, get everybody on song, make sure that we've got a good surface to play on, a visual spectacle to watch, the right management and the right players. Um, and they don't come overnight, you know, so we, we took a wee bit of time just to try and get that right. And, and by, you know, you've got to make a few mistakes as well to, to have a look, you know. I'd never run a football club before, you know, or, or run some businesses and so on and so forth and manage people, you know, but the fundamentals are always the same, you know, you've got to try and see what, what's going wrong. Uh, give yourself a platform. Uh, that, you know, fans come with success, um, but also a fan, the fans need to feel at our level, they need to feel part of the club. They don't, they don't want to turn up at five to three and go home at quarter to five. And then you turn up at Hales Owen, you turn up at non-league, and actually you realise that it's still football, you know, that you're craving. You're treated as, not as a customer, but as, you know, immediately, as soon as you step through gate, you're part of a family. But the support we've received um, in both those games, but since I've been here, really, Kieran, I, you know, everyone's been completely welcoming and, and I've been supported to the hilt. Now, some might say, you know, if I'd lost my first 10 games here, maybe the support wouldn't then be as strong as it is now. Um, that might be the case because that's football. But luckily, by hook or by crook, I've managed to start really, really well. Um, the fans have grew with me um, and we've got a special relationship. And um, I, I, hopefully you see after every game, and sometimes before games, I'm the first over to to see all the fans. Um, I try and take part in whatever I can. I, I make sure that all the players are giving them a clap, whether we've won, lost or drawn. And it goes back again to that. What it's done to the surroundings of the football club, to the atmosphere in the changing room, to the atmosphere in the boardroom, to the atmosphere in the clubhouse, 
for the atmosphere on this on social media, it's it's what it's just galvanised the whole club again, and, and we're blessed to have such a good club. And, and you know, it's everybody has a part of that club, and they do with it what they want mentally. You know, um, it brings you joy. People go for a beer. They love the football. Um, it's it's everything, and that's what a football club should be. This isn't your standard story about a non-league club struggling through COVID. Hales Own Town were on the brink of promotion in the 2019-20 season and alongside that made their way through to the semi-final of the FA Trophy after beating Halifax and Barnet away from home in their previous two cup ties, shocking the non-league world. These were amazing days for the fans and club alike, but the semi-final caused issues. The scheduled two-leg semi-final was changed to just one away leg for Hales Owen behind closed doors to Concord Rangers, which didn't take place until the beginning of the 2020-21 campaign. Unfortunately, the Elks bowed out of the cup after being defeated by Concord 2-1, crushing their dreams of a trip to Wembley. Hales are in town, gave it all they could. Because of where I was, because I was, I was away from it, the noise that the Hales are in fans were making that day was tremendous. And, and if you watch the YouTube clips of the goals going in. If you close your eyes, you'd think you were watching match of the day when a goal went in because it was that sort of noise and and you you don't hear that sort of noise at our level. Usually, you know, a bit of a cheer, a bit of a clap, but that was that was thunderous. <laughs> And I think it's sometimes, Kim, it doesn't matter what level you're at, at some point, do not FA Trophy run out of fancy against anybody because some of the football play was outrageous. Um, and there was a point last season where I, I, I didn't think we were, we were going to lose. It didn't, you could have thrown anybody at us and I expected us to turn them over. But we were sort of second at the time, I think, a couple of games in hand. Um, I think we'd got the, 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 the smallest goals conceded as well. So, yeah, we, 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 were, we were having a fantastic season, weren't we? And it's um, strange, really, because sometimes when you, when you have a cup run of, of that enormity, for us to be a step four club and get that far in the trophy, that sometimes can take away your, your league form. But we managed to, 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 to harness it and work them both hand in hand. And... Um, yeah, it was a fantastic, fantastic season and some fantastic memories for us all. On March the 22nd, 2020, the Southern League announced that the season had ended with a null and void outcome, meaning the Yelks were once again denied glory and a chance for promotion back to Step 3 of English football. This meant that there were no promotions or relegations for anyone within the league. It was probably the most frustrating and the most difficult uh, football season I've experienced. 75% of the games have been played. Uh, we were in a great position. Um, we'd already worked out if the season was wrapped up on a points per game basis that we would have been crowned champions. And there were a lot of teams um, in the, the, the Northern League, in Northern Premier, in the, the Southern slash Central um, that wanted a points per game basis. Um, obviously, the Ismian clearly wanted, for whatever reason, uh, to null and void the season. And when they had the meeting of the three leagues, um, I believe Northern and Southern were points per game and Ismian were null and void the season. And Northern changed their mind as part of those uh, discussions. And, and that was really frustrating. And it was frustrating on a number of points. None of the teams in Southern were engaged in the discussion. I had a conversation with the vice chair of the Southern League, I think on the Thursday, um, um, and that yeah, we definitely would be engaged. We hadn't been so far. We definitely would be engaged before a decision was reached. And this weekend was over, bizarrely, was the weekend we were due to play the home leg because it's indelibly printed on my brain, the 20th of March um, was the Saturday where we were going to be at home in the first leg of the FA Trophy semi-final. And over that weekend, they were having league meetings. Before coming back to the football teams that were affected 
an announcement was made on Monday that said the season's done and voided. After the closure of the 2019-20 Southern League campaign, the following league season was cut short to just seven games from August to October 2020. This means Hales Own Town have now got to wait until this August to begin the 2021-22 Southern League season. Um, I think we're all we were all resigned to the fact that it was going to restart again back in August. So we've already started planning the training program back, get the lads back 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 in. But from this 17th of May, I believe, Kieran, I think we're allowed um, 25% capacity in. So we're looking to host um, a couple of friendlies just to finish the season off and get give the fans something to, to remember the season that wasn't. Um, uh, you know, and then we'll, we'll probably do that till, till May, first week in June, give the lads a, another three weeks, four week break, and then we'll kick off pre season in July as normal. That, that, that's the plan. We're one of the biggest and strongest and best clubs locally to play for. I've got no doubts about that with everything that we're doing at the moment. We're a huge pull for any non league player, Kieran. So the group we've got now, they're very, very lucky to be in the position they're in. Um, the mindset's changed now from before I was here when the club was struggling to attract players. Now we've, 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 we've evolved, we've changed that mindset through a, a lot of hard work, and we're at a point, so the, the club's turned. We're at a point now where we're a very attractive proposition for players now. So our boys that are already here have got a fantastic opportunity to be part and parcel of us going forward. So from May 2021, fans will return to Hells Owen to cheer on the team that they love. With smaller capacities inside the stadium, it's only a matter of time before fans are allowed back in the ground in full force. And for Hells Owen Town, they can get back to asking the important questions, like what does Yelts actually mean? Uh, I've got absolutely no idea, Kieran. No, Dave Hawley probably got it right, I'd have thought. No. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think you'll get very much the same sort of answer, no matter who you ask. Well, it's to do. It's, well, a yelps is to do with the button factory, isn't it? And it goes it goes back a lot longer than I can even imagine. But it's it's actually one of the, the questions that I ask myself because even playing for the club twenty years ago, I, if you ask three different people, they give you three different answers. And, you know, and, and Karen and I. I've even scratched her head about it a couple of times, and even calling me, says, "I don't know," you know. So it's <laughs> it's, yeah. it's 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 definitely something to do with the, the button factory and, and the I believe uh, a type of button that was made. I might be wrong there, but that, that's what I'm led to believe. A yell to me is uh, enthusiastic, knowledgeable, non-league, die-hard football fan. Um, and if, if you cut them through, they bleed blue. That, that's what a yelp is for me.